All right, greetings guys, it's Irish here. Um, as you can see, I have moved over to Slackware. Um, the, the day after I posted my last one about moving to the LTS kernel on Arch and the uh, moving to the testing repos, the very next night my daughter was born. So I tried to keep up with the maintenance of Arch Linux, but this is a computer that I'm not going to be using that much, so I decided to go with something a little bit, um, I guess a little bit more stable. I, I hate that term because I think it, it gets thrown around a little too much. But this one, uh, again, I got this up and running a little bit. Um, as you can see, I have 1,100 packages, which I can remove probably a bunch of them. I'm on the 4.4, which I might update that soon. I have the GTK Awada theme. But let me show you, this is actually a different computer. I could not get that laptop to work. So let me show you the specs on this computer here. So as you can see, it is a HP Pro 3500 series. It's got a Core i5, so it's got four, let me show you how many processes. So it's got four gigs of memory, uh, four processes. Uh, I've used about 1.7 of my 465 gig. My driver, you know, a lot of this stuff you guys have seen before. Uh, again, this is a new machine. Uh, roughly new machine. Uh, I did change over to my the Z shell. It's just better. I just don't like Bash. Uh, by default, the XFC or sorry, the Slackware actually comes with Bash. I forget which version of it, but it doesn't have this. Uh, I know I could set it up this way, but it just has Bash and then the version number, so it doesn't have your user or the location or the host name. So, yeah, my daughter was born on the 28th, so I've been pretty busy with um, trying to get everything set up, not getting a lot, whole lot of sleep. It took me most of this week just to get this going because, again, I was still, I had to put a, a NIC card in the computer, I had to put a hard drive in the computer, and for whatever reason, when I deleted my arch partitions it still showed the GPT partition so anytime that I booted up in with Slackware it said that there was no bootable device which is incorrect so what I did was I wiped it with DD and uh, and now it's working so I have a few ideas. I actually do have i3 installed on here. I'm going to switch over to that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think I have a couple of ideas on how to do this. But let me show you. So the last time I did this was uh, looking at Slackware. Um, and I'll show you the SBO tools is very good. So what you need to do to initiate it is SBO snap and then fetch so this will go ahead and get everything that you need uh, to, it's like on their web page it's very similar to like the ports tree of the free BSD and that's why I made the comparison I think some people said that uh, it's not like the free BSD but on the github page under the documentation for SBO tools it says it's very similar to the FreeBSD, so probably got a few people confused on that. But so this gets uh, all the S, um, the Slack build tree, and then to install it, you would just say SPO, or we'll find something. We'll say uh, awesome. So these are all the awesomes uh, that are in there. Font awesome, I actually kind of need that. So what I'm going to do is install it. So SBO install font awesome. 
So proceed with it, yes. Are you sure? Yes. So it queues everything up. Um, if you didn't uh, do that, uh, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, let me go to So there is a website called slackbuilds.org and it tells you what you need to build off of that. Uh, internet's a little slow up here. I'm doing this upstairs because um, I have a bi-level house and it's like almost impossible for me to uh, go downstairs when I need to, to tinker with this. Like where packages see if I can find it really fast and let's take a look here All right, it's being really slow again maybe it's because I'm, it's chewing up a bunch of uh, uh, maybe not huh. but that's how you would install it so it goes and fetches it from the tree the SBO tree uh, and here, here's the slack builds and then you just download everything. So I am uh, the current version for Slackware is 14.02. I don't know when, if it's going to be 14.03, sorry, 14.3 or Slackware 15. But when I do do move back over to it, I hopefully I can just upgrade it from here. I think I just need to change the mirrors. So once you get back into this, let me show you where this is located. So there's two package or uh, managements. So Slack package is for like the most basic um, like system uh, ones, uh, system packages. And then you go into the mirrors. So you have to make sure that you uh, make sure you enable one of these mirrors so let me go down to United States okay I don't know why that didn't show so yeah you would just do one of these and it will show a uh, current so this is oh where's the one that I have huh interesting so you see slackware.current right here. So I'm going to guess for the next one I can just move to that mirror and then everything should be updated. Uh, with the SBO tools it's a little different story because many of them are for 14.2 so I'm going to guess that it will have to eventually be updated soon after, maybe a week or a month after uh, a new Slackware is going. So font awesome. But I'm again still okay, uh, interesting. Uh, let's go to Caden Live. I did show this briefly again in my first Slackware video there are two uh, so yeah Caden Live here so what you need to do is you have to do this by hand and SBO Tools automates this so there is no dependency resolution here are the documentation uh, for Slackware which I couldn't find the previous video but you can do OpenRC uh, it does have Slackware, the brief overview of it, uh, the essential book, which it's like the beginner's guide. Uh, this is the beginner's guide, so it tells you everything, what you need to do to get your system up and running, and a step-by-step -step if you need a guide through the process of installing Slackware, which it is pretty simple. You just need to follow the uh, guides, and it does use Lilo as a bootloader. So if you do want Grub, you can do Grub, but you just have to tinker with it. So yeah, you have to add a user. Here's the Slack package. You have to update the GPG key and then update it. 
and you have to upgrade all or clean system. You have to do these steps each time, and I just did one uh, this morning and nothing, and I've had this up and running for 24 hours, so at least I don't have to update this every day, So, which is a good thing because I will not have time for that. Um, to be honest, I barely had time to update my Gen 2 on Friday because my daughter was you know busy doing stuff or <laughs> being fussy and you know being what babies do so let's see all right thirty percent I'm gonna guess it's because I'm filming but uh, but I do have ideas uh, again out of the gate you can do flux box black box XFCE which is what I have and then KDE4 you can do Mate Alex DE maybe but for sure plasma 5 but you have to input uh, another repo called alien Bob who's one of the if not the leading developer please correct me if I'm wrong he's got repos and he's got the slack builds for those and then you can actually get plasma 5 on KDE or uh, on slackware but out of the box it comes with KDE 4 and uh, XFCE. I don't know what the latest. Let me see here. Let's go back. I don't know what the latest one is. Let me see if I can find. No. Uh, I can't find it right now, but yeah, you can, um, of course, but uh, yeah, it it's set kind of old, so it does have KDE4, but right now I'm just rambling. I just wanted to let you guys know that I have moved over to Slackware, and I do have a few ideas. Once I get time, I will show you how to enable the Alien Bob repos and get uh, a different desktop environments or different window manager but uh, I do have i3 which I'll probably be using and I have everything else that I need so but yeah I just wanted to you know keep you guys informed um, I've been getting a lot more uh, comments which is good because then it gives me ideas um, but surprisingly I've been getting a lot of the comments from like one of my first videos so it's people are telling me what to do on i3 and I don't even do that configuration anymore so you know people are just discovering and they, they like to help out which is nice so but if you guys have any questions um, please let me know and I will talk to you guys later